Hello there, it's Anna here and welcome to Little Crochet Farm. Today we will work together this Evil Witch. is the first pattern here for the Halloween collection that it's about to come to this YouTube channel. I hope I will have time to finish all of them on time for you to crochet them, but they are very simple, easy and fast. I work all of them in a mini uh, set, like this one is the Good Witch. And after that we will have here also the Mad Wizard, which is this one. So these are the three coming, plus a couple of more patterns that you can check in the playlist for Halloween Amigurumi. For now, let's take a look how we crochet this evil witch. Alright, so we'll work here. We'll start with magic ring or a magic circle. If you don't know how to make the magic ring or the magic circle, there is a link in the description of this video with a full uh, video tutorial, uh, very slow and nice teaching you how to crochet, how to make the magic ring. And you will work six single crochet inside the magic ring. All right, all the information about this pattern, such as the material, here I'm using a two millimeters crochet hook, I'm using sports yarn, uh, you can have all the information in detail in the written pattern here in the description of this video uh, as well as in the first comment uh, on, right under here this video all right um, one two three four five six okay if this tutorial is too fast for you take a look at the description of this video there is a bunch of video tutorials here very slow and in depth of every stitch and technique i use all right, now we close this magic ring and let's go for the second round. Here you will work six increases and you'll have a total of 12 stitches at the end of the round, okay? And when I say that you will work increase, that means you'll work two single crochet inside each stitch, all right? So here I'm working the first repetition together with you. Okay, and you'll work I will fast forward here, you will just make two single crochet inside each of the stitch from the previous round, from the first round. And I want to show you here also that I like to double secure the beginning of my yarn. And how I do this is with a tapestry needle or a sewing needle, I wave inside the first round of this toy, okay? I always do that in the beginning of every detail, every toy, every time that I start an amigurumi or any other piece. Okay, so now let's move on for the next round. Here I will add a stitch marker in the last stitch of the rounds, okay? In my case I just like to use a piece of a different color yarn. And for the third round you will work one single crochet, one increase, repeat six times and you should have 18 stitches at the end of this round. So that means you work one single crochet and one increase, which means two single crochet inside one stitch, and you repeat this all the way around or six times. Here I show you one single crochet and here is the increase. And I will catch you up at the end of the round. And this is how it should be looking like once you finish the third round. Now we continue working with increases. For round number four, you work two single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have 24 stitches at the end of this round. All right, so let's work here the first repetition. I'm working now my increase. And here, as you can see, one and two, and this is the increase, okay? Work all the way around, and I will catch you up for round number five. Super good. For round number five, here you will work three single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 30 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, so let's work here the first repetition together. All the information you need, you'll find in the description of this video, in the written pattern, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below, okay? I will do my best to reply you as soon as I see. Now let's count here, one, two, three, and the increase, okay? Complete all the way around, and I will catch you up for the round number six. Here in round number six to 10, you'll work only single crochet. So you'll work all of these rounds from six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, just 30 single crochet, no increase, no decrease. 
and this is just fun. Stop the video here, work your rounds, and I'll catch you up for rounds number seven. So here, as you can see, our last increase, okay? So round uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I will catch you up for actually round eleven. Great. So moving on for round eleven, you will work three single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have twenty-four stitches at the end of the round. Here, for the decreases in crochet toys, we work the invisible decrease, which is where you grab just the front loop of the stitch and you continue working your single crochet, okay? So you have here two stitches becoming one, work all the way around, and I will catch you up here for round number 12, where you're going to work two single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have 18 stitches at the end of the round. If you don't know how to work the invisible decrease, take a look in the description box. You know there is a link showing you with a complete tutorial how you work the invisible decrease. But basically, you can see it here. You just grab the front loop of the next two stitches. All right? So let's move on here for round number 13. You will work one single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have left with 12 stitches at the end. Of this round okay and the head of our evil witch it's almost done super good so once you reach the last stitch which is the last decrease you will change the color to purple okay so we'll start working with the green you can cut this green yarn we won't need it anymore and we will start working the body of this evil witch okay here I will just give a tight and a simple knot. Uh, this will be facing inside of the toy, so it doesn't matter how good looking is your knot. All right, just make sure it's very tight. And now for round number 14, we will work 12 back loop slip stitch, okay? So work your back loop slip stitches here. So we'll grab just the back loop of the stitch, and I will work a slip stitch here. If you don't know what is the front loop and the back loop, you can see it here, but if this is too small and too fast for you, take a look in the description box and you can find a tutorial talking only about the back loop slip stitch, all right? But this is it. You grab just the back loop of the stitch and you continue working a slip stitch. You can see a pretty well here but work all the way around and i will catch you up at the end all right so we finish here we will stop to add stuffing material inside this hand and you know you just add stuffing material here add as much as you think it's a good amount and come back here for the next round okay so here I want to show you, we will continue working here in the front loop of the previous stitch. You see we have a line here with the green. This green line is the remaining front loop of the round previous, the round with the purple yarn. So it's on that round that you're going to work. So for the round 15 you will work one single crochet, one increase, Repeat six times, you should have 18 stitches and you will work this round in the remaining front loop, okay? You grab the loop in green. This will make the round you worked previously with the slip stitch to be facing inside of the toy, okay? So I work here a couple of repetitions here with you and I will catch you up at the end. Okay, add your stitch marker here. I didn't. <laughs> okay, so this is what we are searching for. Do you see here inside? You can see here the round with the slip stitches here inside of the toy. Okay, this will give a very nice sharp division between neck and body. I really like to work with this technique. All right, so for round number 16, you will work just 18 single crochet. Okay, very simple, very easy, chill, 
work your 18 single crochet and come back here for the next round. Super good. Now we will move on for round number 17. You will work two single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 24 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, so we work here the first repetition. All right, so you have here one, two, and the increase. Repeat all the way around, and for the next round, round 18, you will work just 24 single crochet okay i will not show this in camera it's very simple and easy you work round 17 with increase and round 18 with 24 single crochet once you're done this is what you're going to have one round with increase one round only with the single crochet now for round number 19 you will work three single crochet one increase repeat six times and you should have a total of 30 stitches at the end of this round all right, so let's work here the first repetition with you. Super good. One, two, three. Increase, repeat all the way around. And here's what you're going to have. Now moving on for round number 20, you will work four single crochet, one increase. Repeat six times and you should have 36 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, very simple, very easy. Let's work this repetition together. All right, now my increase over here. Super good. So here we have one, two, three, four, and the increase. Repeat this all the way around. Super good, look at this. Now I will start working to close this. Um, body of the evil witch so for round number 21 you will work 36 back loop single crochet okay so we'll grab just the back loop of the stitch like you did before but now you work single crochet so back loop single crochet okay work your single crochet here grabbing just the back loop just the back loop you see very easy there is a tutorial again showing you what is the front loop of the stitch what is the back loop of the stitch and if you have any questions leave them in the comment box below you see this line over here we are looking for that okay now let's move on for round number 22 we'll start working the decreases here so you work four single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 30 stitches at the end of the round. All right, so let's work here the first repetition. Now my invisible decrease. Super good, work all the way around and I will catch you up for next round. Great. Moving on now for round number 23, you will work three single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 24 stitches. Okay, let's work here. One decrease, repeat all the way around, and I will catch you up here. Super good. Moving on for round number 24, you will work two single crochet one decrease repeat six times and you should have 18 stitches at the end of this round so working our first repetition together super good work all the way around and let's move on here for the next round and the last one you will work one single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times, and you should have left with 12 stitches at the end of this round. All right, so here is the first one. Repeat all the way around. Add the stitch marker at the beginning there. I didn't, but I will count on my head. I like to live life dangerously and lose my account. Okay, for this part, we don't need to add stuff and material. That is because we want the body to be empty. We will tuck in, you will see, we'll tuck in the, the dress, the body of this witch. Okay? So now here for fast enough, I like to grab just the front loop of the stitch. 
as you can see it here. And I will move on here a little bit fast. So add uh, your yarn in a tapestry needle and grab only the front loop of all of the stitches. And once you're done, you pull it tight, closing this toy. And now I will, I will wave in this tail in the dress here of our evil witch, okay? There is also a video tutorial only showing you how I like to fasten off my crochet toys. All right, check out in the description box. Okay, once you're done, you see you already have probably flat the body of this witch, but we can pull it even more. This will be a line here. This line is from the remaining front loop. And this will be laying either fat, flat, either inside of the body, okay? So this is what we are searching for. Organize your stitches here, and we have the head and the body shape. Now we'll move on here for the cape, all right? I know that you guys ask me to not work with a black uh, thread, uh, but this is very simple and easy cape to work with just a couple of rows. It's not that difficult. But I try my best to always skip the black yarn, but I should have done this in gray, I know. Okay, now we will jump the first stitch and you'll start working on the second stitch from the, the round, from the <laughs> foundation chain, okay? And you will work 12 single crochet. So you work 13 chain, and now you skip the first one and work 12 single crochet inside each chain. Here, as you can see, I like to work my single crochet in the back, uh, in this third loop, as they call it, from the chain, which is the loop that is laying behind. This is optional. You can work your single crochet in any part of the foundation chain that you are used to. Once you reach the end, you chain one, turn, and for the second round, you will work one single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have 18 stitches here at the end of this round. A very simple, very easy cape, okay? No hard things here. So I'm working here the first repetition with you. Work all the way until the end. Chain one. Turn and you work here just 18 single crochet, okay? No increases and decreases here, just the 18 single crochet. Very simple, very easy, and very little also. Super good. Work all the way until the end. And once you reach the end here, you chain one, turn, and for the fourth round row, we are working rows here, not rounds, you will work. Again, one increase, one single crochet, one increase, repeat nine times, and you should have a total here of 27 stitches. Okay? Super good. Continue working all the way until the end. You see we already have some shape here going um, on the round. So now for row number five, you will work just 27 single crochet. Okay? So let's continue here, work your 27 single crochet and I will catch you up at the end of this row. Super good. You see, we have here a shape already of the cape. Now we will start working around. You will work here two single crochet in the first corner. Okay, and we will start going up. All right, so we will start going up here doing four single crochet going up, okay? Super good. Once you work four single crochet going up here, we will start working in the foundation chain, okay? You will start crocheting here slip stitches. So you have 12 uh, chain in the foundation chain, so you have 12 stitches, so you will work 12 slip stitch, okay? This will make the slip stitch to be facing on top of the cape. And we are working here on the right side of the cape, okay? 
So just make sure that your slip stitches are not very tight and give it a nice um, breathe here in the stitches, all right, to be the same size as the stitch under. Once you reach the corner, let's work the corners again. All right, so you can see it here, the cape, the slip stitches here on top of it. And let's move on. Here you'll work the same thing as you work on the previous corner, okay? So let's work four stitches here going down. And once you finish, you cut the yarn and you fasten this off. So you'll do the both corners in the same way, all right? Now here you'll leave a tail for sewing this later. Okay, I will just wave in this little bit and I will bring this yarn to the top of the cape, okay, to the neck, neck part, all right? 